Hey, 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 Mary Ann here, the crotchety clogger. What's up? Today's Tuesday, May the 25th, 2021. And you're going to be seeing this on Wednesday, the 26th. Because this is Tuesday tidbits on hump day, see? But I'm not in my car this time because I don't have to go to work again until the latter part of July. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know how my pocketbook's going to like it, but sweet, nonetheless. <laughs> That's right. We'll talk about that later. But anyway, I got some happy mail, y'all. I got some happy mail from Jax. Creations by Jax. You know, because um, I did the the uh, the Hat Not Hate thing that she was sponsoring. You know, she, well, you know, she's not affiliated, but, but, you know, she was getting us to make blue hats, you know, against bullying. See, Line Brand actually sponsors it. But at any rate, she sent me some goodies for participating. It was the month of Bod, and I love to make bag of day hats. I love to make hats anyway. And, uh, yeah, so let's see what we got. I done, I opened it. Mm, I feel something very soft. Ooh, that's pretty. What else is in here? Oh, let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, what a pretty little card. Hey, Marianne. Thank you for supporting my Hat Not Hate Challenge. I hope you enjoy your treat. Mm-hmm. Love, Jaxie. You know I will. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, lucky. Okay, we got... Okay. Oh, look here. Did Kess make? Yes, Kess made this, right? Kess Crafts Custom. What is it? What is it? It looks like a sticker. Let's see if I can get in here. How do you get in here? Is this childproof? Oh, I see. Oh, I gotta. No, the owl did not tear. The owl sticker didn't tear. Yay! Oh, I remember Jack's talking about this. Yeah, okay. She had she thought up all these little sayings. <laughs> <laughs> My whips and chains are off the hook. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, that's Jessica from Kiss Crafts, Cu Kiss Crafts Custom LLC. Look at that sparkly business card there. Well, y'all don't see the spark. Oh, yeah, maybe you do. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Sweet! I got me a sticker. A Jaxi sticker. Ooh, and some tea. This is called Stash. English breakfast tea and double, bleh, bleh, double, double bergamot. Bergamot? I know that's an herb. A Earl Grey. Nice. Thank you. Oh, and this is from Jax. Jax made these. How pretty. Stitch markers. How pretty are they? Thank you, Jax. I guess they could be earrings, too, couldn't they? Leave her back. Ooh, they're pretty. They're pretty. Pretty colors in there. Thank you, Jaxie. Oh, but that's not all. We got the bestest yet to come. <laughs> this feels good. Look here. For some more blue hats. Is that not beautiful? Man, that feels good. So we got a light blue and a dark blue. And some marledness in there. Ooh, that's nice. Line brand yarns. Real hand dyed yarn. Hand dyed heaven. I've never had this. 100% nylon. Two and a half ounces. 175 yards. That is nice. A light three weight. And it's called Greyhound. Y'all, but it's more blue than gray. I don't know why it's called Greyhound. That is not, man, that is soft. Ooh, that is nice. Ooh, Jaxie, thank you so much. All right. So there's that. What else do I want to talk to y'all about? Oh, okay. So, 
you know, like I said, I don't ha I don't have work again. We had our recital, so that's the big, you know, big finish for the year or for the season, and uh, at the dance studio. And anyway, this year was a little different. I've mentioned this before because of the pandemic and all the, you know, things we got to follow the protocol. Um, our recital this usually it's it's kind of formal and it's set in an auditorium, but because of all of this, this year's was very casual. It was outside, and it was nice because a local uh, garage or automotive garage uh, lent their space to us and uh, their parking lot, so to speak. So uh, the kids sort of lined up in the well, that was the nicest, cleanest garage I have ever seen. <laughs> it was hot. But anyway, we had the two bay doors were open. We set up the sound system inside. We laid some, uh, they danced out in the parking lot, right? Uh, we, but we, we set some plastic out and a dance floor out on the pavement. But, you know, and then the parents and families uh, came, brought their lawn chairs and their big shade umbrellas. We had some actual, uh, you know, tents, coverings, up. We had about three or four of them up to, to keep everybody in the shade as much as we could, but it turned out to be really, really cool. I liked it. But anyway, we had a big break because we had two shows, so to speak. We had an early show at 11 o'clock, and then we had another show at 3 o'clock in the afternoon so that we wouldn't have as big of a crowd all at one time, see? But a lot of people were going to come back after the first show, were going to come back and watch, and, and maybe they had an older sibling in the later show or something. So there were a lot of people who left their lawn chairs there and their big shade umbrellas <laughs> there. But anyway, we were eating lunch, and lo and behold, we ended up chasing umbrellas. The wind picked up a little bit, which was really nice because it was hot. <laughs> but anyway... The wind picked up a little bit. <laughs> so, just watch. I'll show you. Here we go. <laughs> we had a really good <laughs> dancing umbrellas <laughs> in the parking lot. <laughs> Sorry, I maybe had to be there. <laughs> But we got a good laugh out of that. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah. And also, uh, dancing umbrellas in the wind. Uh, <laughs> we only had to chase a couple. <laughs> and that one particular one stayed on the ground. <laughs> that was the highlight of the whole show. <laughs> okay. Shut up. I'm, I mean, not you, me. Okay. So now, okay. I also wanted to show you, um, um, I'm a part of the Zoom 2021 make nine so bonnie ogre she uh she picked out nine patterns for me to uh make for this event and i've got two more under my belt and the first one here i made two of these oh i forgot to button her up let me button her up so it looks decent here there we go uh anyway i made this out of cotton yarn let's see the gray is a uh, premier home cotton so that's 85 percent cotton and then the blue is 100 percent cotton from hobby lobby i love this cotton but anyway isn't that cool the little button on there to hang over my drawer handle or my stove handle and i made another one like that here that's a yeah, i love this shell stitch it's very pretty and that's the same the same towel just in a different color. Uh, this is Premier Home Cotton, and this is Crafter's Secret Home Cotton, I think. And I put a little, uh, I guess you call that surface work. It's just a slip stitch all around the whole border, just to tie in that white a little bit better. But yeah, this is a bag of day pattern. It's called Crochet Easy Dish Towel. I will link it down below. And then the other pattern I knocked out was uh, by Happy Berry Crochet. It's called the Tartan Plaid Washcloth. And here it is. Yep, got to show you the front side. But I thought that would make part of a nice set to uh, donate to the children's home. 
And uh, the thing about this washcloth now, y'all, uh, I'll link it below as well. This washcloth reminded me of the wiggly trivet. It looks nothing like a wiggly trivet. Don't get me wrong, but but the base of it, I don't want to go. It, I felt like I was making a grid, like you would in the wiggly trivet, yeah. And then once you've made that grid, you make these, uh, you bring these slip stitches. Uh, so like this is the grid part, and then you bring the slip stitches all the way up. Now, I don't. This was this was a uh, challenge. This really was a challenge. Um, now this one. Okay, for instance, when you do these slip stitches on surface work like this, you're going around the edge, yes? Not a big deal. You just got to make sure you don't do them too tight so it don't pucker everything up, right? But on this was much harder because it was so... Um, it's one of my hairs. <sighs> It was finagly to, to, to be working like right here and you've got your yarn back here. It was kind of, it was tough, it was hard. And I do have some, as you can see, it's kind of, my tension was not right because we got a little puckeries here and here, you know. So my tension wasn't right on it, but it was a very good practice. I think if if I do this a couple more times, if I do this washcloth a couple more times, I think I'll get better. Well, I'm sure I'll get better at it because practice makes everything better. But yeah, this is actually a good. Um, I like this pattern for as a challenge to try to work. You know because I would consider these slip stitches sort of a surface work too. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just kind of, you know. But anyway, yeah, I, I do like it. And I think what I'm going to do is put these two together and then make, uh, using the same colors, gray and white and this coral color, I'll make one of those um, pot holders that folds in on itself uh, to go with it. And I, uh, Sweet Tea, thank you for letting me know of where I can find that pattern for that pot holder that does that and that's from Margaret Olander and I wasn't aware of that but I'm glad I found one and I'm glad you told me okay what else so I have only I've got five more make nines for this year to do so um, that'll be good and and everything I make from the make nines I'm going to donate uh, to the Baptist Children's Home all right Oh, okay, one more thing. Uh, you know, every every uh, Tidbit Tuesday on Hump Day video is going to be, we're going to have a little game. We started it last week, if you remember. And uh, I guess we'll call it Name That Tune. I hope I don't step on anybody's toes by saying that. But uh, I'm going to give you a little excerpt while I'm in the car. And uh, you'll just guess the, the t name of the tune and the artist. Leave it down below in the comment section. Here's the clip. Name that tune. Okay, so if you can guess that tune, put it down in the comment section along with the artist. And let's talk a little bit more about that. Um, so every Tidbit Tuesday video, I'll have you a little clip like that where you can guess. All right, and then at the end of the month, it should be four, maybe five uh, videos, maybe four, you know. Uh, I will uh, put everybody's name in a hat, probably Apollo's hat, his yellow one over here. Anyway, I'll put everybody's name in a hat, and we'll draw for a surprise gift once a month, okay? Right. If your answer is correct, you got a chance to win something, an appreciation gift for me. Appreciating you guys who watch and comment and like and all that good stuff. Yeah, don't forget all that. So I guess um, that's about it. Uh, we'll draw a winner since it was only two weeks that we played the game this month, the month of May. I'll draw a winner next Wednesday on June the 2nd, okay? All right, I guess that's it, folks. I'll see you Thursday, the 27th of May at 4 o'clock 
p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my live stream. Come on and join me. Love yous. Thanks. Bye.